Do you think you're spending too much for cable? Would you like to spend a little bit less? Why not? How about some tips from Hannah McKenzie? If you're watching me right now, you're likely paying for some sort of cable service. And if you're like most people, the thought of paying for that bill every month doesn't exactly excite you, but there are some ways to lower it. To put it short, cable is expensive. It's ridiculous. I probably pay almost $200 a month. Just over $150. A little over $100. Just over $200. If your monthly bill makes you shudder, you're not alone. But there are some ways to slash it. You know what they say, ask and you shall receive. Sometimes being upfront pays off. Call your provider and ask for a discount. When we called, we got upgraded equipment and things like that, and I think they may have reduced our bill by 10 bucks. If that doesn't work, you can always compare your bill with other providers and threaten to switch. Every once in a while, I'll call the competitor and get a price quote, and then I'll call Cox and say, hey, I've got this price quote, and they usually knock my bill down. Lack of competition or cable restrictions on where you live doesn't always allow you to do that, so there are other ways to keep your bill low, like bundling your services. For the internet right now, it's like somewhere between 40 and 45 dollars. If I did it by itself, it would be about 60 to 65. However, you'll likely end up with extra channels you'll never watch and services you don't use. It just is odd to me that even in my bundle, I have to have a phone line into my house, but I don't have a phone. There is another option with streaming services becoming increasingly popular. Some are opting to cut the cable cord. We have Netflix and Amazon. I have Netflix, Hulu, HBO Go, um, Showtime, On Demand. We do have a subscription to Netflix. Amazon and Netflix. An Amazon Prime video subscription will cost you about $99 a year or $8.25 a month. Netflix and Hulu both start at $7.99 a month and offer different package plans. And your first month is free with all three streaming services. Choosing which is right for you depends on the shows and movies you like to binge watch. No matter how you watch your TV, one thing is for sure, keep it tuned right here to Channel 3. In Pensacola, Hannah McKenzie.